What's going on YouTube? This is the next video on our ACF uh, series here. And uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to use the true and false field on ACF and how to hook that up with your, your template uh, to be able to display data that may or may not be true every time you have uh, a new post type or you know a certain conditional that might be required in order in order for some fields to then be displayed. Um, so as you can see here, I've added another movie and called it Doors, um, and we're going to go through and say, hey, what if we want to display something based on uh, whether or not these movies are available? So let's go back to our custom fields and let's go to movies and we're going to add a field uh, called is available. All right, and we're going to come down and we're going to choose true or false. And we're going to say it's required. And we're going to give it a stylized UI. And this basically means that it, uh, instead of it just being a checkbox, it's going to look like actually like one of these. Um, it's going to say yes or it's going to say no. If we said if we said no, it would just be a checkbox, which works just the same. It's just a different little uh, uh, UI element here, which I think looks a little bit better. Um, and then you can change the text of whether it's active. So we're going to say um, available, not available. Awesome. And it has no conditional logic. And we're going to close the field and save. I'm going to take this name here. And if you go back to your, your, uh, your movies, when we come to doors, you can see now we have an is available uh, selector here. Um, so I can then say, okay, we want this one to be available. And then dogs is going to be not available. All right. So now that that's the case, we can come into our template and we can display some information based off of whether the movie is available or not. So I'm going to come down here under the title and I'm going to make a, uh, we're going to make a little span here. And this span is going to say available. And before this span, I'm going to write a little conditional PHP by saying if we're going to get the field, this is there's nothing to display um, with the true or false. So if we get the field, it's going to return either true or false as a boolean, and that's gonna is what's gonna uh, determine what um, which block in the if else statement if else statement gets run. So we're gonna say okay, uh, we're gonna get the field is available. Right, and I'm missing that guy. And once that happens there, so we say, okay, if get field is available, if that returns true, we're going to put the span in there that says available, and then we're going to do an else. If it's false, we're going to do a span. that says not available. All right, so let's just go run through this really quick again. We're doing if this field that we just made, which is a true or false field, returns true, we're going to put the available text in there. If it returns false, we're going to put the not available text in there. And if you come back to your post type, this will return true and this is going to return false. So now that that's in there, you can see that our dogs is not available and our doors is available. Just like that, you can see how, okay, you can display different content based on a true or false statement in your admin. Um, and you can have a bunch of HTML in this block or a bunch of HTML in this block and display different things um, uh, from your admin panel um, based off whether or not that conditional is true. In the next video, I'm gonna show you guys 
how to make it so that, hey, if we wanted to have some extra data in here when this thing is available, how we can make that pop up on um, the admin and then also show up on the uh, front end of our website. All right, guys, see you in the next one. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, share with your friends. I'll see you next time.